Okay, hello. Um, I'm quite, I'm quite a a, a new uh, YouTube YouTuber, uh, especially for amateur radio. But I just wanted to say thank you for the comments that I'm having already on the um, uh, YouTube channel. YouTube have also got this new um, public uh, stu this uh, beta version of the YouTube Studio, so I can now get all of the comments through and and see them uh, very cleanly on the the new beta page so recently i put a, a video up um the should i should you buy the ft817 for your first radio and i've had quite a few um comments on this so i'm just going to read a few of these out and just maybe just uh, feed back on them because i think there's some great stuff here is that the dog barking They've got a dog out. The dog's outside, so um, she always tends to uh, bark when she wants to come back in. It's one chap here called Bob. Um, uh, he made a mistake of uh, buying the the quad band, um, and then he bought the IC seven one eight. I had the ICOM seven one eight. It's a fantastic radio. That is, um, really good radio. Um, but his favourite is the eight eight one seven. So, yeah, there are there are people that actually uh, try out a few different um, uh, radios, but then go to the eight one seven after they've tried a few others. And uh, as Bob did, he he bought. Uh, I think the eight uh, FT eight nine hundred is um, at six meters two seventy and ten meters. Um, so. Um, Apart from apart from ten meters and and six, it's mostly a VHF radio, um, so quite restrictive from that point of view. Got Mike ten seventy four F the FT eight one seven ND. But yeah, this is the ND I was talking about. It was the perfect first radio. Um, again, there's a, a chappy who who uh, after he passed his uh, foundation, um, used the FT eight one seven and has some cracking reports. Um, He's also using the Wonder Wide Band Antenna Kit, which I've never used myself. Um, I, I I've used the MP Super Antenna, MP One Super Antenna, as a um, more com you know a smaller portable kit. Um, but I always found that um, using a smaller antenna, a compromise one, with only five watts, meant that. Um, the, the whole setup was a bit too compromised for me for for portable chappy paul graham um the 817 was his first hf radio but he uh, uh um, sold that to upgrade to an 897 and i've i've got an 897 quite an old one bought mine used but the 897 is a cracking radio um very similar to the 817 but um uh, but in some ways, you know, it, it's much easier to use because it's not so fiddly, not not so so much smaller. Um, but he's now moved over to the uh, KX3. Uh, okay, Chappy, uh, Charlie Oscar O Nine. In my opinion, it's not a home base radio, uh, and definitely not a first radio. It's a fun field day radio. It's battery op operated, which is the clue to its origins. That's quite interesting. Um, yes, it's a great fun portable uh, radio. I mean, it it's you can um, uh, you you can use the eight one seven uh, you know as as a home base radio, but personally, I think you need then to use cat control and use one of the um, pieces of software to to run the radio to drive it. It's it's only five watts, um, so there there are, there are limitations, especially in, when the sun spot cycle is so low, that the uh, you you've got to work really hard with the five watts. But that's part of the fun. Uh, so people actually do prefer QRP, even from it from home as well. Um, but yes, and I, I take your point that it, you know the origins of it were probably meant more for the uh, portable uh, um, market. Um, one chap here, Dave, um, he bought the Zegu uh, X5105i, uh, and I don't think he has, he's, um, he regretted buying the, the, Z the Zegu, is it Zegu or Zegu? I, uh, I've got the X, um, X108, is it called? Um, 
it's the one before the uh, X5105, and I think it's a cracking radio. It's a 20 watt radio, um, but I I've had some fantastic um, uh, contacts on that, and I think a lot a lot of that comes down to the pro the the voice processing on it. It's got a great, powerful, punchy microphone um, and uh, compressor on it. So I think that really cuts through. So somebody here has bought the um, FT857D. Um, again, yeah, so this, this chap, you know, he, he's no built-in battery. Um, um, but the radio can be turned down to run as QRP uh, to be within the license. Um but then with the 857, then once you progress for the license, you can then increase the power. So it's it's good to see. Yeah, please um, keep the comments coming in. Uh, I, I'll try to um, keep on uh, bringing more content and reviews and uh, take the camera out when, I, when I'm out playing portable radio. So um, many thanks. If you've not already subscribed, please press that subscribe button. Uh, give us a thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever. Um, but please give us a comment. Uh, yeah, keep up the good work. Okay, bye-bye for now.